Welcome to the first of two videos on integration involving partial fraction decomposition. This video does assume you already have watched the videos to learn how to perform partial fraction decomposition. So let's go and take a look at our first example. One of the main reasons why we might want to perform partial fraction decomposition on this integrand is to avoid having to use trigonometric substitution. While trig substitution is a great method to integrate when appropriate, it can get somewhat involved. So the idea here is if we can rewrite this as a sum or difference of a simpler rational function, it will be much easier to integrate. So let's start with our integrand and factor the denominator. Be x minus three times x plus two. We have two linear factors, so we're gonna have a over x minus three plus b over x plus two. Now we're going to multiply every term by the LCD, x minus three times x plus two. So on the left, these two factors simplify out, so we're left with two equals. Here the x minus three simplifies out, we're left with a times x plus two plus, here the x plus two simplify out, we're left with b times x minus three. This is our basic equation, true for all values of x. So we'll let x equal the zeros of the binomial factors. So if x equals negative two, we'd have two equals, this would be zero plus b times negative five. So dividing both sides by negative five, we'd have b equals negative two-fifths. Now let's let x equal positive three. So we'd have two equals, this would be five a, this would be a times five this would be zero, so we'd have a equals positive two-fifths. So using partial fraction decomposition, we can rewrite this integral as the integral of a over x minus three, and a is two-fifths. So we have two-fifths and one over x minus three dx, plus b over x plus two. Well, since b is negative two-fifths, we'll write this as minus two-fifths times the integral of one over x plus two dx. And in both cases here, if we let u equal the denominator, du will equal dx. So both of these would be the integral of one over u, which is equal to natural log u. So we have two fifths natural log of u, which is absolute value of x minus three, minus two fifths times the natural log of the absolute value of x plus two plus c. So again, the whole idea is, if we take the original rational function and perform partial fraction decomposition, these new integrals will be much easier to integrate than the original, and as we see here, they were. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example. Now on this one, we could take the numerator and divide by the denominator, but let's go ahead and try to perform partial fraction decomposition and see what we come up with. Let's go ahead and factor the denominator. We'd have x minus four times x plus two. Again, both linear factors, so we'd have a over x minus four plus b over x plus two. Now we'll multiply every fraction by the LCD. So on the left, all of this simplifies out. We're left with x squared plus three x minus four must equal here, the x minus four simplify out. We we'll live with a times x plus two. Here the x plus two simplify out, we have plus b times x minus four. Again, this is true for all values of x, but we'll select the x values that would be zeros of the binomial factors. Let's let x equal negative two. So here we have four plus negative six, that'd be negative two minus four. That would give us negative six must equal, this would be zero, and this would be b times negative six, so b is equal to one. Now let's set x equal four. If x is four, we'd have 16 plus 12, that'd be 28 minus four. 24 must equal, this would be a times six. This would be zero, so a is equal to four. So we can rewrite this original integral as this 
So we can rewrite this original integral as a sum or difference of two integrals based upon the values of a and b from these partial fractions. So since a is equal to four, we'd have four times the integral of one over x minus four dx. And since b is positive one, we'd have plus the integral of one over x plus two dx. Again, if we let our denominators equal u, du is going to equal dx. So these would both be the integral of one over u. So we'd have four times the natural log of the opposite value of x minus four plus natural log of the opposite value of x plus two plus c. So you can see that performing partial fraction decomposition can come in handy when integrating rational functions. Okay, in part two we'll take a look at a rational function where we have quadratic factors. I hope you found this helpful.